All right, welcome. Welcome to our set review for Kaldheim. Uh, now we're, we did white, blue, and black yesterday. Black and white looked pretty bad. Blue looked pretty good. So let's see, let's see how red measures up. Let's start with red commons. Uh, I also changed my little blurb on the left because I got a lot of questions yesterday about it. Hopefully it's a lot more clear. All right, one in red, two, two, tap, target creature gains haste. Whatever, this is, a, it's whatever. <laughs> there's, there's, whatever. This is a six, you're probably gonna play it if you're red, but yeah, boring bear is boring. One of the problems I have with this card in, in, in relation to the set is that there's boast and it's pretty hard to actually play a boast card attack with haste and use the boast in the same turn so i'm not terribly impressed by that um i would actually go so far to say this is pro this might be a five but i'm gonna give it like a six just because i haven't seen what other like we we'll, might come back to this one and make it a five depending on whether cards are in red the goat is the best part of the card sure but it's not a goat creature type so Kind of a mistake right there, right? Breakneck Berserker. Three cost, three two haste. That's pretty good. That's pretty hard hitting. There's a lot of four mana three threes in this set. I like it. That's pretty hard hitting. I think this seems like a seven to me. It's better than Axe Guard Calvary by a lot. It's better than a two two. Better than this guy. Yeah, this used to be a four mana three two haste, right? Yeah. Yeah, Axe Guard is certainly worse with the existence of this. We might come back to Axe Guard Calvary and think it's a 5. But I, I like this card. This is so, so refreshing after coming from Black, who just had, like, the first, like, what, seven cards in Black were just, like, not play, main deckable cards. <laughs> Cinderhar Giant. Ooh, a 7 cost common for red? Trample. When it dies, it deals 7 damage to a creature and opponent controls at random. Um, okay, so when it dies, it kills an opponent's creature, kills a random opponent's creature. I mean, I guess that's so weird. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's relatively hard hitting as a seven power trampler. It's like hard to kill, but your opponent might have to double block and then they lose whatever's left, right? It's, the problem historically has been in sealed that seven is a lot of mana because red typically does not have draw twos. So unless you're coupled with like green or blue, you're not gonna be able to cast this card. So, like if you're a white red aggro deck, you're not playing this card, right? Like this seals like a six, because I think if you open three, you're not gonna play all three, right? So you're gonna play one at most. It's either a six or a four, I agree. I'll put, I'll put it as like a 5.5 .5 for now. We'll look and see if there's any draw twos in red. If there's like draw twos in red, then this card becomes a six. We don't know it's in the set. I haven't looked at it yet. So let's take a look at it. Craven Hulk cannot block alone. Four cost four four. Holy moly. These cards are typically being pretty good. Yeah. It's a coward. Oh yeah, it's a Craven, sure. Giant coward. Cannot block alone. Abandoned by at birth, the giant was raised by goats. Ironically, it grew up to be the most cautious member of the herd. Wait, why is that ironic? Whatever. It's at least a seven. This might be an eight. Four cost four fours are pretty above curve. Typically four cost four threes. Like seven stat points is the is like the baseline for a four drop, and this has eight. I feel like this might be better than break is this better than breakneck berserker? Feels like it probably is. It seems like unless you're a six drop, you can't even block this thing, so. Demon Bolt. Deals four damage to target creature or planeswalker. Sure. Or it's great. Yeah, this is just, yeah. We finally got a good removal spell. This is pretty awesome. Not much to say. Even if it didn't have Fortale, you would, it would still be a great card, right? It was, that was, it was called Bombard before and it didn't hit planeswalkers. The one in Ixlon. Two in a red, deal four. Do a creature. Instant. This is creature or planeswalker and has foretell. So this is like strictly better. Yeah. I think that, I mean, yeah, I, I, I do get terminates eights. I think you're right. 
This is this is the best terminate we've seen though. Other than the uncommon black one. This is better than the format of Exile a Creature or Planeswalker, right? The two black black sorcery exile a creature plane. This is way better than that. The terminate does yeah, this is like I think this is like an 8.5. This is the best removal spell we've seen. Oh, that is the black and instant? You might be right. Still. Even I think this is still better, just because foretell. Dwarven reinforcements. Four cost. Create two two one red dwarf berserkers. I expected these to have haste, they don't. Hmm. I'm thinking of cart I think I'm bombarded, right? Oh. What do I feel about this? I mean historically white has had four cost make two 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 vigilances, and there I thought that card was was unplayable. So I I would expect this card to not be a card I want to have in my deck. So I would expect this to be a three or a four. I'm willing to be wrong if there's like some sort of token payoff or something or trumpet blast effects at common in red. Yeah, if he said haste, I'd be all about it. They don't have haste. I think I'm off this. So like even if it was a four mana four two, I'm like I'm all, with foretell. I don't want anything to do with that. So this is just a trap card. First strike, bows. Oh, it's, I thought it was 3 mana for plus 3 oh, it was 3 mana for plus 2 oh. It's not even fire breathing, it's like, yeah. I don't want anything to do with this. Ow, quite the flavor text. I say boo to this. A boo. Yeah, I give it a 3 instead of a 2 because, because the the cute artwork, I guess. Snow instant. Deal two damage to target creature or planeswalker. If you control three or more snow permanents, it deals three instead. This is just shock, right? I feel like this is a seven. I didn't see a lot of X2s in this set. It's not nearly as good as Demon Bolt. I think the odds of this being doing three are pretty low. It doesn't go to face. It not going to face is a big deal too. I think uh three toughness is like the big thing in this set. If you can't deal three damage, then I don't know. If I want you. Fiery Impulse is way better than this. Which was deal two, and if you have, was it, two sorceries or instants in your graveyard, it deals three. This is way worse than that. Yeah, this counts no permanence, not lands. Um, but I think one of the problems could be is, I, I would assume that this checks on resolution. So if you have three snow permanents, if you have like a creature and two lands, and you cast Frostbite on a three three, they can kill your snow permanent and it just deals two instead, right? That's a big problem. It, it, it checks on resolution, which is just like, I don't want that now. Is it possible this is worse than a seven? I don't think so. I guess if I open three, am I gonna play all three? Probably. I won't be happy about it, but I, I probably would. I'd probably have to work to make this, I'd, I'd have to do some work to make sure, but it's like, you're not gonna have, if you look at the little thing on the left, if you have four snow lands in your deck, you're gonna have two of them by turn six, 40% of the time, right? So, yeah, I mean, I guess this, you're right. This is probably closer to a six. So the odds, you like you, you, in order for this to be good, you'd have to have snow permanents that are not lands in your deck, a lot of them, at least four or five. We'll call it a six for now, but it's like none of the other cards we've seen are snow. Hoggy Mob. Five mana, five for a boast. Deal one. Oh, it only does. It's only one damage though, and you can only use it once. You would think with a boast ability like this, it would be like, oh, five mana, five for next turn attack, and then before blockers, pay six and deal three damage anywhere I choose. Right? That's not how this works. Boast is once per turn. Um, but this is this is a combo with the pinger with the death toucher from the common death toucher rune from black. You're right. It's also a 5-4 four for 5. Potentially a 6-5. Uh, a 6-4 for 5. No, I, th I think you're going to play this. Like, I think this is better than Frostbite. I think this is probably just a solid player. I think it's closer to a 7 than it is a 6. We'll call it a 7 for now. We'll see what other what else is in the set. I like the... I typically really like... Fi like... I just really like 5 power creatures for 5. And th this... This has a lot going for it. It hits hard. It hits hard and it lets you like turn your shocks into like lightning strikes. All right. 
Like, this is an actual win condition. Your opponent needs to deal with it. Yeah, nice flavor text. Immerstrom Raider. 2 costs 2 one enters the battlefield. You may discard a card if you do draw a card. This has been printed before, and it's never been good. So... Uh, I would play 3 of this card. So I guess that's where we disagree. I would. Like, there's not... If you're playing Black Rat, this is your best 5 drop. It has the com... And you have a combo with the Black... Like, in Black Rat, this is at least a 7, right? Because... You have the Death Touch Aura. Yeah, I don't think I want anything to do with this. So. Yeah, the thing is, in Sealed, you just want, like, a giant idiot creature that can't be one from one removed. You can't, like... There isn't a creature that can really rumble with this and live. So it, it kind of is a removal spell. Right? And it's a removal spell that can just kill your opponent. No, I, I don't think I want anything to do with this. I don't think I want anything to do with this. This is sealed. In draft, it's different. In sealed, you want to play your 23 best cards and this will not be among them. Yeah, you can just like, if you want to get cards in your graveyard, here's what you do. Play better cards and then when your opponent kills them, you have them in a graveyard. <laughs> Alright. Add two mana of any one color and two mana of any other color. Okay, so it is not playable. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, the creatures you control got plus one O is like a trumpet blast type effect, right? I guess. Like, imagine here's the problem with these types of effects. Imagine you're red black and you're splashing green or something, or you're red green splashing black. You think this is a mana fixer? Here's what you can do: you can just play a basic land instead of this card. So, I I promise you, if you're using this to fix your mana, you will do you will do better if you just play a basic land. What if the land you're splashing is actually just a snow land? Even better. <laughs> like, you're gonna do better if this is just the land you're looking for. So it's not metamorphos. Yeah, that's a pass. Run amok. Tar creature attacking creature gets plus two plus three and gains trample. Okay, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. This is a combo trick I would play because, unlike most giant groats, one of the reasons I don't like giant groats is it doesn't, like, giant groats don't remove the blocker, and it, you end up spending mana, and you don't end up doing damage to your opponent. But this, this, this kind of throws all that out, right? Because you attack with your 2 2 into their 3 3, they block, and you run amok, and they're like, they take damage, right? They take 2. So it's like you killed their creature, right? Like, if it's a 2-2 two -two and it hits them, they take two. If it's a 2-2, two -two, they block with a 3-3 three -three and you run a muck, they take two. So it's like you actually just, like, it's an actual terminate and they actually can push through, push through blockers. So I really like this type of effect. Like, if you're going to play a combat trick, I want it to be something like this. It's no Predator Strike. Predator Strike was, like, to me, like, the baseline of how... Predator Strike was a one and a green instant. Target creature gets plus three, plus three, and trample. The difference between that and this was that that could work. The Predator Strike could work on defense, but I don't think it's a big deal. Yeah, this does a nice searing blaze impression, sure. And I think this is like I'm gonna. I imagine myself losing to like double run amux from nowhere, right? Pretty easily. So uh, this is another card that really works with uh, the Death Touch. The Death Touch Enchant Creature Rune. Because Death Touch and Trample work really well together. You only have to assign one damage to every blocker and the rest go to their face. Yeah. Um, if I had three, I probably would not play three. I like one or two. So I might not put this at a six. It's closer to a 6.5 than a, than a seven. But I like it. As your additional cost to cast this spell, discard a card, draw two cards, and create a treasure token. Oh, baby. So this is a draw two. Because you're getting a treasure. And that treasure is worth something. It's like, it's an... Like, the, lot the Lotus Petal is actually worth something. Like, uh, there was a card in Ixalan. It was like, it was a pirate something. Which was four mana, discard a card, draw two, make two treasures. And that card was great. Um... The Pirates Pillage, yeah, that card was great. Yeah, this is like acceleration. This is this is mana fixing. Like this is so many light levels above. Open the open, uh, night and day between these two cards. 
This is so much better than another card. Yeah, this is Tormenting Voice with Acceleration and Mana Fixing. This is great. Yeah, this, this, I really like this. Like, if I open three, am I going to play all three? Probably. Because, like, worst case scenario, this does cost, as long as you have starting, starting with three, this does cost two, right? Because you can just use the treasure immediately. So, on like, if you, you can play, like, a double spell card, like something that triggers off double spells on turn three, or then on turn four, you can play Seize the Spoils, draw a land, play the land, play another two drop with a treasure, right? It won't save as many hands as Tormenting Voice did, but what it, it it opens up a lot more possibilities because it lets you splash a color a lot, like splash one or two cards of another color so much easier. Like if you're splashing, my rule of thumb, if you're gonna play, two, most of the time in sealed, you're playing two colors plus splashing the two best cards of another color. And you need like, you usually need about three and a half to four sources. In your deck and this this is like this is like a little bit better than a half a source it's probably almost to a full source because it also draws cards right so this is like you can actually list if you're playing like red black splashing a green rare you can play two forests and like two or three seize the spoils and like your mana is fine um yeah not only does it fix your mana by giving you a color with the treasure it also gets digs you closer to your actual source right i like it um this is i you're right. You you made a comment. Somebody in my chat said that one of the best parts about Tormenting Voice was that it could save you from missing your third land drop, which is a constant issue in Limited, is you keep a two-lander on the play and brick off, right? And this won't save you. This is not an eight. This is a, this is probably a seven. It's either a seven or a six. Six and a half or seven. Probably closer to a seven. We'll see. I like it. The fact that Pirate's Pillage was an uncommon and good makes me believe that this card is better than it looks. In Ixalan, it was three... Ixalan was a fairly fast format, right? And it was... And that card cost four mana to discard a card, draw two, and get two treasure. And I think that card was good at uncommon. Like, you were happy, you always played it. Shackles of Treachery. Gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap that creature. Until end of turn, it gains haste. And whenever this creature deals damage, destroy target. <laughs> okay, so it's after treason that might shatter an equipment. Uh, I've never been a big fan of after treason effects. And I didn't even see any bone splinters in black, right? There's like village rights, but who cares? I like that it's after treason plus trinket text. It'll probably come up like 1 in 20 games. Yeah. I like it. I like that it exists. Not that I'm going to play it. I'm the type of person who never plays after treasons and always loses to them. So I think this is closer to a four or five. Well, Grab the Reins was a bomb. And, and that for different reasons. Because it was an instant. It was a ray of command. It wasn't an after treason. And it could kick and kill two things, right? So... Yeah, Mick Winsauce, you're right that it has downside, right? If you like take if you like take their creature and want to kill them or deal some damage that you have to shatter your own equipment, maybe. Smashing success. Destroy target artifact or land. If an artifact is destroyed this way, create a treasure token. <laughs> Alright. No thank you. <laughs> Snow land destruction, you're right. It, it is an instant at least. But, you know, you know what I would, don't want for my shatters? For them to cost four mana. Like, if I'm going to shatter an equipment, this is better at doing it, right? It doesn't even have to... This says whenever this creature deals damage. So, you like, you don't even have to hit through their face. It doesn't say damage to a player. It just says deals damage. Like, Shackles or Treachery is way better than this. Yeah, Smelt is one red instant destroy target artifacts. And that was just too good. I'll pass. Squash. Costs three less to cast if you control a giant. Six damage to target creature and planeswalker. This is really good. This is an eight. <laughs> right? Yeah, this is this is an instant, which is unexpected. I would have expected this to be a sorcery. Is my five drop? A, is that a is that a giant? Oh no, it's not a giant. That's too bad. Where's the giants in red? Oh, just do, this dude is a giant. Okay. Okay, yeah. This dude's a giant. Dude, you're gonna, people are going to play Craven Hulk until like double double squash and just get smashed. Right? 
Holy moly. Yeah, okay. Well, changelings aren't a common, right? So, I think there's maybe that blue... That blue one was was a common. Yeah, I mean, obviously, in blue red, this might even be a nun, right? Yeah, like just the that the fact that I can have planeswalkers is is pretty awesome. I enjoy when cards when commons can kill planeswalkers. Sormenter's helm plus one plus one. Whenever equipped creature becomes blocked, it it so the creature deals one damage to defending player. Is there anything... Is there like an Ophidian? Are there Ophidians in red? I didn't see one, right? No? Okay. I'm gonna put this as a three, unless... Like, Lean and Scimitar was not playable. What, which is the one co the classic one cost one one equipment. It's not a playable card. This is harder to cast, and I'm not... That seems like Shrinket text to me, right? So, if there was something, if I'm missing something that the, the Trinket text actually has a text, then this card might be a playable main deck card. But I saw no commons in red that this works with. You would just rather, you would rather have a creature than this all the time. Tuscary Firewalker. Boast. Exile the top card of your library, you may play that card this turn. Really? Isn't this card great? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't this card, like, the premier red common? For sealed, anyway. I guess Squash should be the, the premier red common, but... No, it's, uh, Demon Bolt. Holy moly, red has some stuff going on. Yeah, like, this is a card, you'd like... Red has a lot of common removal spells? And a run amok. Holy moly, dude. Yeah, this is, like, a straightforward aid. It might even be a nine, honestly. Oh, you can you may you may play that card this turn. You can get lands off it. This this is a nine. If 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 the divin if behold the multiverse is a nine in blue, this is a nine in red. So yeah, that you can hit lands off this is pretty awesome, and it lets you play two spells in one turn maybe. And the fact that the red removal spells are instants, right? So you can actually like attack and before blockers use it, and then if you get like a, a terminate, you can just like clear the way. Yeah, this is great. If I open three, I would play all three and be happy, right? Be like, yeah, give me four, give me five. I'll play them all. Yeah, I'm, I'll call this a nine. One tap, exile a creature card from your graveyard. Create a treasure token. I like this. It's so weird that it's red. I like this. It's ramp, it's mana fixing. It's like, it's a 1-3, which is statted really well for, for, for sealed. It's like a really good red-blue card. Red-blue splash black, or red-blue splash green or something. Yeah, they could have made this a white card, right? It's weird. I like this card a lot. This is probably a 6. I'd be happy to blame deck one or two of these. I wouldn't play 3 if I opened them, so it's not a 7. All right. I'm really happy with red. Look, red looks really good outside of... <laughs> they have some of the worst cards in the set and Omen, open the Omen Paths and Smashing Success might be like the two worst cards in the set. But they also have a lot of really good stuff. So I like it. Uh, I put this as a six. I think I'm, I think I'm going to stand by this being a six. I think I'm okay with main necking this card. It has some 4-4s four and 5-4s to swing with, right? I think I'm okay with main decking it. Open the oven, open the oven pass is a generous 2. Look, the, I'm giving the 2 to the, uh, the plus 1-0 oh to your creatures. But... Yeah, Kraven Hulk is, is gonna be is like the premier, like, beatdown card. I think this is a solid 8. You'll play all the- you'll play every- you'll play every Kraven Hulk you're open. Because you want to be able to turn on your your squashes, right? Duh, and this is if you're not familiar with the rules on on Craven Hulk, if you have two Craven Hulks, you can block. You don't. They don't have to. You can block with both. They see each other. Two cowards make a warrior. Yeah. The, but I'm looking forward to playing with Tuscary Firewalker. This is this is an exciting card. 
I love cards that pay me to stick around. I love it. And this, they could have easily made this so that it doesn't hit lands, but it does hit lands, and you can play them. This is a card that, like, you have your opponent has to kill it, or they just lose. They just get buried. They get buried in card advantage. Yeah, this this is, like, this could have been an uncommon. I'd be like, yeah, that's an uncommon, <laughs> right? So, the fact that it's a common is just like, okay, yeah, absolutely. It's a good thing to Frostbite. Good thing with Frostbite. Yeah, if this attacks twice, you're probably winning the game. Yeah. 